Hey guys, it's Billy at Riverbend Records in Godfrey, Illinois. Hope everybody's doing well on this Monday morning. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Illinois. I just got back from uh, Jupiter, Florida, spring training with the St. Louis Cardinals. And uh, before I left, I ended up purchasing three collections, uh, one of which I'm gonna show you today. The other two, I'm still in the middle of processing. Um, but this first one is a uh, an absolutely killer uh, mobile fidelity high-end audiophile uh, collection that I purchased a couple days before I left. Uh, I was gone like two and a half weeks, so it's been kind of killing me as well as the other employees here uh, not having this stuff out and uh, processed. But I wanted to make a video first. I wanted to get everything processed properly and then uh, get it out on the floor so we can uh, get it for sale, offer it to the customers. Um, so this one was the Mobile Fidelity one. The other two, um, one was a huge, huge collection, uh, at, at least 5,000 pieces. Um, everything pretty much 60s, 70s, 80s rock. Um, rock, pop, there's a little bit of jazz in there, some R&B soul, and just a small amount of country but uh, for the most part it's uh 60s 70s 80s pop rock good stuff and then the other one was about 500 pieces uh five to 600 pieces and it was all solid 60s and 70s rock uh really good stuff going to be hitting the floors here in the next week or so uh just as soon as i can get it all processed it's going to be uh coming out we will i, I know i'm going to get bombarded by everybody wanting me to ship this stuff we're going to offer this stuff in store to our in store local customers first for the first couple weeks. And then, if anything is still available, we will gladly open it up to uh, online sales and, uh, and, and mail it out. We don't, the website, you won't see any of this stuff on the website. You'll just have to reach out, ask us if it's still available, and uh, we will let you know. And if it is, and we come to an agreement and you buy it, we'll ship it out to you. So, without further ado, let's jump right on in. So, this Mobile Fidelity collection. I didn't count it, but I'm uh, I'm guesstimating there's about a hundred pieces here. Um, some of these are already spoken for. The night I went out and uh, purchased this collection, um, I talked to a fellow VC member. Actually, I talked to two fellow VC members. You you know uh, you guys, I'm sure know uh, both of them. Um, but I talked to two of them uh, just to kind of get their opinion on uh, certain things, and one of them was like. I would love to have opportunity to purchase uh, some of these if uh, if it's right. And so uh, we worked something out, and I think he ended up getting about uh, 13 of these pieces. So some of these pieces are spoken for already. And then uh, three of these pieces I'm keeping in my personal collection. So uh, the majority of this is still all for sale, but uh, some of it is already spoken for. There was uh, a handful of original sealed pieces in here, uh, which I'm going to show first and then we'll go in and show the other stuff. So let's jump right on in with the big boy. Uh, this is one that is staying with me. Led Zeppelin II, sealed, original, uh, just an absolutely gorgeous copy. Uh, this is one that uh, almost sold in that deal uh, with the uh, other VC member. Uh, I'm not gonna say who it is. If they um, decide to make a video, then, uh, you'll all know who ended up with, with these. So um, I, just, I just don't feel right, uh, you know, calling them out, especially without letting them know, hey, I'm gonna shout you out in this video. Um, but yeah, you'll see, that one is staying with me. This one is spoken for. Uh, this is Crosby, Stills, Nash, Young, Deja Vu, another original sealed copy, just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, like I said, all these are sealed. I'm gonna jump through these. This one was uh, one of the real beauties of the collection here, uh, Steely Dan Asia. Normally these uh, have a lot of chipping issues with the black, but this one is as pristine as you will see. Obviously this bag has seen 40 years of in and out of uh, storage, but, and it and it's, I, I wouldn't say it's perfect. I, I mean, the bag itself, there's no tears, no rips, no anything. But it's just, you know, get, they get a little foggy after years. Some Cat Stevens. Like I said, again, these are all 
sealed that I'm going to show you on this front end T for the Tillerman. Super Tramp Crime of the Century. You know, that one they put the, normally they put all the, the hype stuff on the inside. That one they uh, put on the, on the back. This one I love. I, I may end up keeping this one actually. I'm a huge Little Feet fan. This is Waiting for Columbus. Fantastic, fantastic live set from uh, Lil George and the boys. Little Feet Waiting for Columbus. Jethro Tull's Aqualung. You know, I actually purchased this uh, collection a couple days, maybe two days before, like I said, two or three days before I ended up leaving to go to uh, Florida. And I was so stoked about it. I couldn't wait to make this video. And then Mike at the In Groove in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, drops this monster mobile fidelity audio file um, purchase that he had and made me look like kindergarten with this. But uh, Mike, that was, a, that was a great, great score, man. Uh, but this one, I feel good about this one. Here's some Moody Blues, Days of Future Past. I'm sure you all, if you're watching this video, you, you've seen Mike's score. That one was epic. What a haul. Uh, T for the Tillerman, Cat Stevens. Another fantastic album. Most of these, obviously, if they're being pressed uh, at MoFi, they're fantastic albums. A little River Band. This is uh, First Under the Wire. Again, I know I sound like a broken record here, but these are all sealed. Uh, George Benson, Breezin. Breeze through these here real quick because we'll get to the other stuff. Pat Benatar. This one is uh, In the Heat of the Night. Of course, with uh, Heartbreaker, New Lover, good stuff. There are two Al Stewart, Year of the Cat. One, two. Of course, you know, one has the little hype on it, the other one does not. Crystal Gale, Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue. This is We Must Believe in Magic, but obviously with the big hit, Don't It Make My Brown Eyes Blue. I have a copy of this already in the collection, or I would be keeping that one. Uh, Kim Carnes, Mistaken Identity. You know, some of these are, are basic titles. Some of them are pretty, pretty big heaters, <laughs> as you saw in the beginning. Uh, this is not a Mobile Fidelity, but still a half-speed uh, Master Series Nautilus Super Disc. Uh, Joan Baez, Diamonds and Rust. And that is the last of the uh, the sealed stuff there. So that's, the, uh, that's everything on the sealed end. Now let's jump into the stuff that uh, that is not sealed. All right, here's some of the stuff that is uh, that was opened. Uh, still some really, really high-end stuff. And all this stuff, when I say it is near mint, near mint, near mint, excellent, it is that good. The discs look like they've been unplayed. And the jackets are, uh, for the most part, superb. High-end. Include, they include all the inserts, um, all the, all the mail-in stuff. Every, everything's all untouched, just basically taken right out of the factory bag and uh, put in, in these bags here, so... Let's jump in here with one of my favorite albums of all time, if not my favorite album of all time, Jim Croce, Don't Mess Around With Jim. And these, uh, th this first handful are spoken for. I've already got them packaged up uh, on the outside, ready to be shipped out today, as a matter of fact. Um, so we wanna make sure we pack everything up right. Uh, of course, you know, we pack everything <clears throat> We keep the records on the outside of the jacket so we don't get any uh, um, spine damage or uh, seam splits during shipping. Just try and minimize any kind of damage we can. Uh, even with new product, we on our Discogs page, we offer 
uh, the, the service that we will open any new product that you want us to. You have to request it, uh, but we will gladly open it up and ship it just like this so we don't get, so whenever you get it, you don't have any uh, seam splits or any damage. Um, just try and minimize that. Uh, let's see here. Another, another heavy, heavy one here. Beatles Abbey Road. And of course, this is just the insert. I've put everything on the uh, inside of that. Like I said, this first handful is spoken for. This is in that batch that fellow VC member um, ended up striking a deal with me for. I think he ended up getting 13, 13 of these titles. So Eric Clapton, slow hand. Doors, self-titled. Of course, this is all the inside stuff. Records just on the outside of the uh, jacket. This is one that made uh, made uh, Brandon, Mr. Hall of Fame, a little sad. And I wish we had talked before I made this deal, but I wasn't gonna go back on my word. But Brandon really wanted this record, and I would have loved to have, have him to him to have had it. Uh, David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust, just a, an excellent, absolutely flawless copy of Ziggy Stardust. Stones, Sticky Fingers. Stones, Some Girls. Steve Miller Band, Fly Like an Eagle. We've had a couple copies of this one in. That that was a must have been a really popular one around here in this area, uh, because we have had a couple copies of that in in the Mobile Fidelity. Uh, Gino Fidelli, Powerful People. Like I said, this first batch is spoken for, folks. Uh, up to here, this is the last one that is spoken for. Crusaders, Chain Reaction. And then the rest of these will go out and we'll offer them here in the shop for a couple weeks before making any offers or accepting any offers, entertaining any offers, so to speak. You guys can tell what this is from the back. I know some of you guys are probably freaking out. A beautiful, absolutely beautiful copy of uh, King Crimson in the Court of the Crimson King. Just an amazingly flawless copy. It's beautiful. That one you don't see very often. Genesis, <clears throat> Trick of the Tail. Again, like I said, these copies are just immaculate. This one here is uh, Jethro Tull, uh, Broadsword and the Beast. Love that artwork. Gotta be honest with you, never heard that record. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to uh, spin that one. Manhattan Transfer Live. Like I said, some of these are heavy hitters. Some of these are pretty basic. But in the end, whoever ends up with them is going to be uh, extremely happy. Earl Clue. Uh, this one is... Damn, I can't even read what that... Uh, oh, Finger Painting. There you go. And this is... Uh, uh, Emerson, Lake, and Palmer pictures in an exhibition. I've had a couple copies of this as well. Poco Legend. Country Joe McDonald Paradise with an Ocean View. I have this in my uh, collection as well. Fantastic album. Love it. As well as this one, Gordon Lightfoot, Sundown. Great, great record. Ricky Lee Jones. There were a couple of these. The guy that I actually bought this collection from, um, he did end up keeping maybe a half a dozen 
for his uh, collection. He just did not uh, want to part with them for sentimental reasons, and uh, I totally understand that. Uh, the only one in the bunch that uh, I was bummed about was the original first pressing uh, Dark Side of the Moon. Um, he did say that when he is ready to get rid of it, he will uh, more than happily get a hold of me. So uh, I'm, I'm sure that will happen eventually. I'll end up with it. But uh, for now, I got to live with these. So uh, Al Stewart, Time Passages. You saw the, uh, there were a couple copies of Year of the Cat in the sealed stuff. This one is staying with me. Actually, the next two are staying with me. Kenny Rogers, Greatest Hits. Always wanted a nice, clean copy, MoFi copy of these in my collection, as well as uh, The Gambler. And I see them from time to time, but they're just not quite uh, up to snuff. These are beautiful. Uh, Olivia, Totally Hot. Libby Newton John. And she is totally hot, right? And then another copy of uh, Crystal Gale. Uh, we must believe in magic. Don't it make my brown eyes blue? Like I said, I already have a copy of this in my collection. Um, or one, probably the sealed one would be staying with me. But uh, those are all going to be up for sale. So that is it. That is the. Uh, MoFi stuff. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, some of those are spoken for. The other stuff we will offer in store here uh, to our local customers for a couple weeks before opening it up. So if that King Crimson or uh, Super Tramp, you know, Crime of the Century, you know, a handful of those things don't sell. Jethro Tull, some of those nice pieces, if they don't sell here in the first couple weeks, we will gladly ship them to you. So uh, if you're interested in them, please keep in touch with me. Um, shoot me a message on uh, Facebook or Instagram or um, just reach out here through the comments and I will uh, do what I can to uh, make sure you're taken care of. Also, stay tuned. Sometime later this week, I'm going to be dropping all the rest of those other collections. I'll be making sure I do uh, two separate videos for those. So thank you guys so much. If you haven't done so already, make sure you uh, like, comment, uh, sub, hit, hit that uh, that sub subscription, the notification bell. So anytime we post a video, you get the uh, automatic notifications. Um, but make sure you like us, follow us on Instagram, all the social platforms, Facebook, uh, Twitter, as well as here at YouTube. So guys, as always, thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you all have a great day. Until next time, we'll see you then. Peace.